In this video, we are going to talk about the resonance effect on the basicity of organic compounds. We know that the strength of a base increases as this lone pair of electrons can grab a hydrogen or a proton from the solution. So uh, it gives me this product, the protonated product of this amine, ethylamine. So the more availability of this lone pair of electrons to grab a hydrogen, the more basic a compound. When we take a look at another example, the same uh, ethylamine, but substi substituting the, the terminal hydrogens with fluorine atoms or electron withdrawing groups, these three atoms, three fluorine atoms, will, will attract or will withdraw the electrons through the sigma bonds so it's it's going to decrease the electron density on this uh, on this nitrogen atom so it will decrease the basicity of this uh, of this compound overall so the yield of the protonated product of this compound will decrease so for example uh, if this, uh, if the yield of this compound is 90%, this yield is going to be um, nearly 20 to 30%. This is just an approximation, not the uh, the true value. Uh, I'm supposing only. Our first comparison here. Uh, to illustrate this effect, or the uh, to illustrate the resonance effect on basicity, uh, here we have uh, butanamide and butylamine. This butanamide can have two resonating structures as follows. So, here, here the uh, the lone pair of electrons can be pushed here, and this. Uh, this double bond can move to this oxygen, giving me another resonating structure. So we can notice that this lone pair of electrons is not always available. It's, uh, sorry, it's participating in, in the resonance. However, in case of this pyramine, the lone pair of electrons, we can say that it's, uh, it's fixed on this nitrogen atom. It does not move anywhere else. So when, uh, when the first amide protonate, they, uh, they give this product. They give actually two products, a first product here and a second one here. Uh, this is this is because the oxygen atom is all uh, here. The oxygen atom is also basic. Uh, yes, the uh, nitrogen atom is uh, is more basic, but also this oxygen atom uh, this oxygen atom gives some small yield of protonated amide here. And finally, here uh, when this amine protonates, they give the protonated amine here. Uh, we can see that this lone pair is more available. This lone pair on this nitrogen is more available than uh, the lone pair on this nitrogen or or the oxygen here. So the this amine is more a base is more basic uh, than uh, the amide because of the resonance because of the, the resonance effect in the uh, amide compounds. So this butylamine is more basic. Here we have a, a benzylamine and aniline. We want to find out which compound is more basic. So from the previous example, we see that the resonance effect reduces the basicity of the compound. Here in this benzylamine, we can we can see no any reson, uh, resonating structures except in the uh, in the benzene ring. In the benzene ring, the, these double bonds will move just like that. But uh, this lumper will not participate in uh, in resonance of this benzene ring. So this lumper doesn't have to to make a double bond here. But in case of uh, aniline, this lone pair of electrons will participate in the resonance of this benzene ring. So, uh, you know, 
this double one will move here and this double one will move here and this double one will move here and so on you know the resonance structures of aniline so we can see that this lone pair of electrons is consumed in in the resonance of this compound so it will decrease the concentration or the electron density uh, on this nitrogen atom which is the most basic atom here so uh, we can see that uh, the benzylamine is more basic than aniline a final comparison here between uh, the paranitroaniline and me metanitroaniline so in the paranitroaniline we can see that this lone pair of electrons can part uh, of electrons on on the uh, amine group can participate in resonance of the compound you can see here the uh, all the resonating structures of this paranitroaniline compound. You can see that this lone pair of electrons will make a double bond, and this double bond will make a negative charge. This uh, and the positive charge uh, appears on uh, this nitrogen, and this negative charge will form a double bond. This uh, double bond will move into here, making a negative charge, and so on. As you see, uh, 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 there are many resonating structures here. And this will lead to the decrease of electron density on this nitrogen atom, making it uh, slightly basic. So this, this compound is slightly basic, actually. Also, take into consideration that this nitro group has a, an electron withdrawal effect. So uh, along the sigma bonds, it will, elect, uh, it will withdraw the, uh, the electrons towards it. But you know, the mesomeric effect or this resonance effect is more stronger than the inductive effect. But the two effects uh, are present in this, in this example. However, in metanitroaniline, we can see that uh, the, the, the mesomeric effect or the resonance effect is absent in this compound. At the amine group, directing into the ortho and para positions. And here the nitro group is found in the meta position, so the resonance effect is absent here. But we can see uh, the inductive effect is, is present here. Uh, you know, it's in the meta position, it will uh, withdraw the electrons towards the, uh, the nitro group. But you know, the mesomeric effect or the resonance effect is more stronger than the inductive effect. So the nitro group here on the uh, of the paranitroaniline will, will electron withdraw these electrons on the amine group more efficiently than the nitro group on the metaposition because here the the, the, resonance effect, the resonance effect is present but here um, is present and also the inductive effect is present but here the inductive effect is only present and the mesomeric effect is absent so uh, the paranitroaniline will decrease or the nitro group, uh, nitro group here will decrease the lone pair of electron, uh, uh, the lone pair of electrons, or the electron density over the nitrogen more efficiently than in the meta nitroaniline. So meta nitroaniline is more basic than para nitroaniline. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.